Oh man, right? Like COVID-19 has been derailing in many, many ways. Uh, the COVID-19 induced isolation has been interesting. I think just about everybody's dealing with changes in life as a result of uh, COVID. It really wasn't that different for me at that point. I work closely with colleagues that I really, I really admire and respect, but also just really like as on a personal level. And so um, it's been super sad not being able to interact with those people face to face. In the beginning, actually, I was super stressed and I couldn't sleep and I couldn't, I was just constantly worried because we're all worried. Uh, I've really had to completely reevaluate how I go about teaching. And at times that's been time consuming, stressful, frustrating. There were many things I had planned to do in that year and a half that coronavirus has made incredibly challenging. Um, so that's obnoxious. COVID hit while I was in my off season. I'm a sea turtle biologist and I work on the beach in the summer. Um, and I do a lot of work from my home or from my computer in the off season. So when it first popped up, I was already isolating at home. I got really lucky that I was in a phase of my work where I need to sit home and write. So I had wrapped up lab work um, before March. So I'm in a good place with my work. So I'm at the stage in my PhD where I'm finishing up my writing of my dissertation. And so I've been working from home and writing and stuck inside and uh, barely seeing, seeing uh, the outside world for months now. And so it feels very similar, but now that I don't have a choice and I'm forced to do it, it has been really difficult to focus. So I would say even though my routine hasn't changed, focusing is much more difficult. Because I work for a nonprofit, it might have an effect on our finances at the end of the year because we weren't able to have our paying volunteers come. Um, but for me, it hasn't been that big of a deal in terms of my actual work. Scientists in particular are used to having to adjust and change uh, plans regularly. So, um, so I adapted. I love talking, I love being excited. And so both being alone has been hard and also being surrounded by things in the news, in the world that are sad, that are hard to get excited about can be super draining. Um, I'm trying to avoid it and I'm trying, like I am trying to find some solace in my science for sure um, because it still excites me and like getting to think those thoughts and work on those papers and have the sort of time to think about that has been good. Um, but it's rough, man, it's super, super rough for everyone. I think additionally something that's come out of this is an opportunity to be reflective. Maybe a silver lining is that it's making me appreciate just how much I depend on and care about my colleagues and my sort of casual social interactions on a, on a daily basis. And so I'm hopeful that I will value those more when they're back in my life. It is not easy, but you know, there's, these guys. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> and there's this one. Hey, SimSim. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, please support what we're doing. We have a lot of passionate scientists that are on board to share their knowledge and insights and their, their stories of how they got to where they are and how to succeed in this field and why it's so important, why science is so important. Uh, you can help us tremendously for free by sharing these videos, subscribing, and getting the word out. You can also help us not for free by chipping in a dollar or two on our Patreon account. So please support us. We'll continue to produce these videos. We do this for free. We do this because we care. So we're happy that you're watching. Thank you.